I'm originally from northern Minnesota and I came to Arizona because I was really tired of the cold, cold winters and I wanted something warmer. So it's probably the same reason that a lot of people came to Arizona. When I did the, the Sabino um, Canyon quilt, I want, what I wanted to do was to capture the feeling of Sabino Canyon, the abundance, um, the creeks, the, the bridges. Um, that was important to me. I love the bridges. I love the bridges and I love listening to the water run. And I love coming up here. Sabino Canyon is one of my favorite places uh, in, in Arizona. I have come up here many times with friends and I think that is, that's always special. Just walking the canyon, taking your time and, and showing people Tucson and showing um, people from out of the state that I have taken here are just amazed that this, this exists in the middle of our city. There's inspiration, I think, you know, I mean, there's so much. Every time you turn around, there's something. And if looking one way, looking another way. I took a class from someone one time who said, let your fabric speak for you. So one of the things that I do when I'm in a fabric shop is I look at fabric wondering, you know, does this look like the canyon walls? Does this look, you know, can this be a bridge or part of a bridge? And hence, that's what I do. And if I can't find the fabric that, I, that suits me, then I paint it. Both my mother and my grandmother hand quilted. Um, I don't think they would have even th ever thought of machine quilting back then. Um, and I hand quilt because, well, like I said, it just, I love the feel of the fabric and I feel like a part of me goes into every piece that I do. It takes a lot of time, but I feel like p every stitch is a part of you. And so you're putting a part of yourself into every quilt that you make. I knew I wanted to do a piece on, on Sabino Canyon. And what I did is I came here and did a lot of sketches, but I didn't take any one sketch to make the piece. I combined a whole bunch of things to make the piece. That's the other great thing about quilting. So you see this whole thing. So you have your tree that's the foreground and the rocks and the creek that's kind of mid-ground and the mountains in the background. And if you wanted to add a bridge, which is what I did, you just, you, then you just add a bridge. I love art quilts and I do a lot of art quilts. And so if I can get up in the morning and spend the entire day just working on that, I'm, you know, I'm just really happy. Um, so it's, it is important to me. I, I joined the Tucson Quilting Guild uh, for, for a few years. And um, then I joined, uh, it was a, an art group that met at Bella's. And from that group, within the last year, I have been a part of another group that's called FASA, which is uh, Fiber Artists of Southern Arizona. For me, the important thing was the, the community, uh, being around people who enjoyed uh, doing quilting, who enjoyed making quilts. And also they provide teachers, um, lecturers, there's a great opportunity to learn from people that they bring into the guild and also from one another. I also, uh, I'm very interested in the architecture, especially downtown Tucson. And I've, I have started a, a series of quilts based on La Placida Village. I love the colors and yeah, it's beautiful. I love Arizona and so I, want, I really wanted to be a part of it because of, of my feelings about Arizona. And I love coming up here. I love um, the fact that there can be a lot of people here, but at any, like even right now, there's a lot of people in the canyon, but we're alone. And, and I just, I love that about the canyon besides just the physical beauty of it. 